Hello guys. Welcome to my video. Let me introduce myself. My name is Gifar. I am from the University Sam Rachelanji. Information Systems Study Program. Alright, on this occasion, I will explain about graph theory material. Generally, a graph is a picture designed to express words, particularly the connection between two or more quantities. You can see a graph on the left. A graph is a basic object of learning in graph theory. In everyday language, a graph is a set of objects called points, vertices, or angles connected by connectors called lines or sides. Or we can interpret, a graph is a mathematical diagram which shows the relationship between two or more sets of numbers or measurements. In the qualified graph, which is usually not directed, a line from point A to point B is considered to be the same as a line from point B to point A. In directed graph, the line has a direction. Basically, a graph is depicted in the form of a diagram as a set of points, angles or vertices, combined with curves, lines or sides, pointing in only one direction. The graph is called a directed graph, or sometimes the graph for short. When drawing a directed graph, the edges are typically drawn, as arrows indicating the direction, as illustrated in the first figure. If all edges are bidirectional, or undirected, the graph is an undirected graph, as illustrated by the second figure. Graphs have important applications in networking, search engines, social network analysis, and recommendation systems, such as those used by Amazon, Netflix, Pandora, Spotify, and YouTube. One of the most famous graph analysis algorithms is PageRank, which is used by Google to generate search results. In graph theory, maximum flow problems involve finding a feasible flow through a single source, single sync flow network that is maximum. Let's take an image to explain how the above definition wants to say. Each edge is labeled with capacity, the maximum amount of stuff that it can carry. The goal is to figure out how much stuff can be pushed from the vertex S source. Maximum flow problem can be seen as a special case of more complex network flow problems, such as the circulation problem. The maximum value of an ST flow, that is, flow from source S to sink T is equal to the minimum capacity of an ST cut, that is, cut severing S from T in the network, as stated in the max flow min cut theorem. In graph theory, a minimum cut, or min cut of a graph, is a cut, a partition of the vertices, of a graph into two disjoint subsets that is minimal in some sense. Minimum cut of a weighted graph, is defined as the minimum sum of weights, of at least one edges that when removed from the graph divides the graph into two groups. Mechthild Stower and Frank Wagner proposed an algorithm in 1995 to find minimum cut in an undirected weighted graphs. The algorithm works on a method of shrinking the graph by merging the most tightly connected vertex until only one node is left in the graph and for each step performed, the weights of the merged cut is stored in a list. Minimum value in the list would be the minimum cut value of the graph. That's the material about what is graph, maximum flow and minimum cut in graph. Well, thank you for your kind attention to join the presentation video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right.